Hey, thanks for joining me, Woody Powers, for another City Skylines tutorial, collaborating once again with Paradox Interactive here on the official City Skylines YouTube channel. This video is twofold. We are going to go over the basics of implementing an ore extraction area with some processing plants and why you need this to make the unique factories work in the industry's menu. And I want to give you some ideas on how to make it look unique to your own style of design. I am an Xbox player who loves building great looking functional cities without mods, so what I'm showing you can be used on PlayStation or PC, however you will need the Industries expansion for this to work. So when I first got Industries, I started plopping down assets, trying to figure out how everything synced up. Purely functional. This area looks like me on a first date in high school, kind of boring and awkward. But now that I have a grasp of industries, I want to demolish this area, kind of like my high school memories, and design something that's not only going to produce ore and related products, but also something I'd want to show off in a video. So, whether you're ready or not, let's get started. Yeah, I stole that joke from the game. We are going to start by opening the info view menu to locate the ore deposits, seen in grayish blue on this menu. Your mining assets won't work unless you build them in this area. Now, believe it or not, I'm going to start building a water feature, which is going to divide the extraction assets from the ore processing assets. We'll dig out an area with our terraforming tools and then place a few freshwater outlets from the water menu here. A quick side note, if you want to run power to these areas without some unsightly power lines, drop a few earthquake sensors from the disasters menu. This will bridge the power gap between undeveloped areas. We're going to add our roads, including a rural road over the stream. This makes for a nice feature over our waterway, giving this industrial area some character. And our layout is complete. Trucks and traffic in one continuous flow near a highway for easy transportation. Next, we're going to thumb over to the Industries menu and start with the main building under the Ore category. Just plop that down. Thumb back over to the Industries painting option and let's paint the entire area. By doing this, you are letting the game know that this is a designated area for extraction and processing. We'll add in the ore mine itself. This is the quintessential asset for ore extraction. So you can go with an above ground operation or a tunnel style infrastructure or a combination. Then just add in some extraction related buildings which will help level up this whole painted area. Now we'll head across the water feature and we'll add in some ore processing plants. These are the assets that will take our raw resources and modify it into things the unique factories need like glass, metals, and fiberglass. But before we just plop one down, I'm going to place a bunch of tiles from the park life menu around the area. Why do I do this? Well, because I think it gives each building a foundation and it helps cover the ground pollution associated with factories and processing plants. So now we've got this whole ore mining area developed with an aesthetically pleasing water feature to divide the two areas. All that's left to do is make the place look great. Grab some fences from the landscaping menu and just go to town. These factories are dangerous and we want to keep those pesky teenagers out. Then we'll move on to trees. I like to use trees that don't deteriorate over time with pollution. Bamboo, sugar maples, and yews work nicely because yews have to make it look good. And we'll plop a bunch of trees outside the pollution area as well. And there you have it. It's an area so nice they'll put it on the front cover of Ore Magazine. So now, let's say you want to add a steel factory from the Unique Factories menu and you click on it using the Inspector tool. We know that our ore extraction area is producing what the factory needs. So if you want to get more in-depth, check out $2.20 City Skylines tutorial on supply chains. It is an excellent video for getting resources from A to B. Hey, thank you so much for watching. More tutorials on the way, and make sure you subscribe down below. Now enjoy some B-roll shots while we play you some relaxing music.